Can somebody, anybody, please save us, save me from the barrage of pointless, patronising messages that are relentlessly churned over the public address system of our trains, our tubes and in our stations? Is the travelling public so imbecilic, so woolly-headed that we need to be told to hold on to the handrail on an escalator, to be aware on wet days that surfaces may be slippy, and for mums to be told on London buses that they should stay with their buggies? Or to be told on the tube to alight at Westminster for the Houses of Parliament? Are there people waiting to be told where to get off and they would otherwise travel on to Upminster without that piece of information? Why do our transport operators feel the need to fill every second of silence? Of course, a minority of announcements are genuinely helpful, but particularly on the tube, it feels like they're looking for things to say. And have the generators of all this noise pollution not realised all they're urging has no effect? Where did you ever see a passenger inspecting the safety cars on the train when encouraged to do so? Make full use of the platform, we are told, by the voiceless instruction in tube stations. But have you noticed people moving down the platform when encouraged to do so? No, neither have I. We now even have phantom announcements for non-existent problems, like being told at my station of Lewis that skateboarding is not allowed within the station, <laughs> where none ever takes place. Doubtless, bringing a giraffe into the station is also not allowed. Should we add that to the mix? But the most egregious and annoying by far is the ubiquitous see it, say it, sorted. I heard this eight times the other day on my hour-long train journey from Lewis to London. If someone in the real industry or the government can remove this, I'll even buy them lunch. Hear it, bin it, sorted.